Hot Lakers news. Folks, the trading season is heating up, and the Lakers may be on the verge of making a decisive move. We're racing against time to pull off a significant trade this 2024 NBA offseason, but the opportunity is still alive. There are star or near-star players available on the market, and the Lakers have the assets to put together a convincing offer. Now, as the season progresses, trade prices may have fallen. And this is where Brandon Ingram, former Laker and 2019-20 All-Star, comes in. According to Shams Charania of The Athletic, Ingram's trade market is currently limited. Teams like the Sacramento Kings and San Antonio Spurs have already solved their wing needs with DeMar DeRozan and Harrison Barnes, respectively. This leaves Ingram in an interesting position for us. But why are the Pelicans open to trading Ingram? Well, he needs a new contract before next summer, and if he gets what he wants, it will be a huge deal. NBA insider Mark Stein recently reported that both the Pelicans and Ingram's representatives are looking for teams willing to trade for him and offer a maximum extension. So far, these efforts have been unsuccessful, and this may continue due to the league's new economic environment. The restrictions imposed by the collective bargaining agreement have led many teams to take a closer look at their finances. From this more disciplined perspective, Ingram doesn't stand out as an obvious candidate for a max contract. He struggled with availability, playing 64 games this season, the most since his rookie year. His production was very good, but not outstanding. What's more, his final stretch in the most recent campaign didn't leave the best impression. A knee injury sidelined him for several weeks at the end of the season, and when he returned, he clearly wasn't the same. In four playoff games, he averaged 14.3 points on 30.5% shooting and just 3.3 assists in 36.3 minutes. All these factors contributed to Ingram's depressed market. However, this could create a situation where the Lakers can acquire a former All-Star in top form at a discounted price. While we may feel the financial pressure of a trade at some point, the actual cost of the transaction to get Ingram out of New Orleans should not be exorbitant. An offer centered on Roy Hakimura and D'Angelo Russell would put us close enough, where only a minimum contract like Christian Wood or Cam Reddish would be needed to make the deal work financially. The Lakers could also draft something around Hakimura, Gabe Vincent and Jared Vanderbilt if Russell isn't involved in the deal. If they can limit the trade to a first round pick with some protection, that could be a viable deal for both sides. The window for the LeBron James and Anthony Davis era is closing. At best, we'll have this duo for the next two years. As the roster is currently constructed, it's not a championship-level team. We've seen that in the last two playoff campaigns, and this team is pretty much the same as last season. A trade is now the only way to improve, but if the Lakers' front office hesitates for good reason, the team could end up repeating the season. That's the last thing many wanted to see, but Rob Polinka's hands seem to be tied. With the current roster, we have a complete team of 15 players, all with guaranteed contracts. The front office has yet to sign or trade for any player that meets our needs, such as a good pivot, a 3 and D wing, or an athletic starting or backup point guard. So, guys, what do you think? Leave your opinions in the comments. What would be the best strategy for the Lakers this offseason? Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. See you next time.